the amount of energy can be calculated by using Einstein's formula. So the formula is E equal to mc square. E equal to mc square. Uh, e is the energy change, and this is the nuclear energy. Okay, this this is a nuclear energy. Nuclear energy. And the nuclear energy is equal to the mass change. This is a mass defect. This is a mass defect multiplied by the square of the speed of light. Square of speed of light. Now, uh, this one you don't need to memorize the value because this will be given. The speed of light is uh, is uh, 3. 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. After you square it, uh, then it will become 9, 9.0 times 10 to the power of 16. Okay, That's how we calculate the nuclear energy from the mass defect. They will give you the mass, okay? They will give you the mass. But the mass must be in kg, okay? Take note that the mass must be in kg, and the speed of light must be in meter per second. Because sometimes they may give you the mass in atomic mass units, AMU or denoted by the symbol U. Eh? And if they give you the symbol, uh, the, the units of mass in AMU, then you must convert it to kg. So that's Einstein's formula. So you just copy it and then label it. This is the nuclear energy, this is the mass defect, and this is the speed of light. Atomic mass units, eh? AMU. AMU is the abbreviations for uh, atomic mass unit as gram is a unit of mass. So, so AMU is, is, a, is a measures of mass, okay? So in solving numerical problems, you need to convert AMUs to gram or kilogram, okay? A gram or kilogram, okay? If you want to use uh, Einstein's formula, then you must convert it to kilogram, okay? Usually, usually, uh, this will be given, okay? They will tell you 1 AMU equals 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kg. This will be given, eh? okay? This will be given. And uh, the AMU is denoted by the symbol U, okay? So for example, they will tell you that uh, the alpha particles, okay? The mass, the mass is equal to uh, 4.02 U, okay? And when you see this 4.02 U, then you should know that this is the atomic mass unit okay it's atomic mass unit eh? okay uh and then they will give you this uh, one atomic mass unit equal to this and uh, then you can convert it into kg okay in kg. but sometimes uh, sometimes uh they would like you to do your calculations based on the definitions of uh, atomic mass units v very rare okay seldom they will ask you to do so but sometimes this may be asked as well okay so you need to know uh, the, what is 1 AMU? Eh? Now, 1 atomic mass unit is the mass of 1 over 12 of the mass of 1 carbon-12 atoms. Okay, so we take the carbon 12, mass of carbon-12 atoms divided by 12, and that is 1 atomic mass unit. Okay, so therefore the mass of carbon-12, uh, the mass of carbon-12 is equal to 12.000 uh, AMU. Eh? Okay. So this is the mass of uh, carbon-12, 12, 12, 12 AMU, okay? After you divide it by 12, then it's 1 AMU, uh -huh. so that's the definitions of atomic mass unit, okay? So remember, if they give you atomic mass unit and you, if you want to do calculations to find uh, the, the energy release, then you must convert this AMU to kg, okay? So usually this atomic mass unit uh, is used to measure the mass of uh, atomic particles, okay, which is a uh, very, very small particles like uh, uh, atoms or uh, sometimes uh, even uh, protons, neutrons, or sometimes electrons. Uh, okay, it's, it's seldom used to measure electrons. Normally it's protons, neutrons, and uh, also the nucleus of atoms. Uh. So example one, find the mass of one carbon-12 atoms in the units of uh, AMU. Okay, the, the first one is very easy, okay, because we learned that uh, the mass of uh, carbon-12 is equal to 12 uh, AMU, right? Okay, that's, that's from the definitions of atomic mass unit, okay? 
1 AMU is equal to 1 over 12 of the mass of uh, carbon 12. Therefore, the mass of carbon 12 is 12 AMU. B, okay, so the mass of carbons, okay, the mass of carbons uh, in kg, okay, so in kg, if uh, they give you, okay, if they give you 1 AMU, is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kg uh, then straight away you can tell that the mass of a carbon is uh, 12 multiplied by 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kg so use your calculator to find the answer so it's equal to uh, 1.992 times 10 to the power of negative 20 uh, sorry 26 this is uh, if if they tell you that one AMU equal to one point six six times ten to the power of negative twenty seven kg. Okay, but how about if this is not given? Okay, if this is not given, then how do we how do we find the mass of uh, one carbon atoms? In chemistry, we learn that one mole one mole of uh, carbon twelve atoms is equal to twelve point zero 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 gram. This is the molar mass, uh, molar mass of carbon, and it's also from the definitions of relative atomic mass. Uh, one mole, uh, twelve gram. Okay. Now one mole is equal to six point zero two times ten to the power of twenty three, right? So it means uh, six point zero two times ten to the power of twenty three atoms, carbon twelve atoms, is equal to twelve point zero 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 gram, right? So therefore, one atom. One carbon twelve atom is equal to twelve point zero 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 gram divided by six point zero two times ten to the power of twenty three. It's twelve divided by six point zero two is one point nine nine one point nine nine times ten to the power of negative twenty three. Gram, but this is in gram, okay. So if you want to convert it to kg, they'll become 1.99 times 10 to the power of negative 26 kg. If this is not given, okay, the mass of 1 amu equals how many kg is not given, uh, then you must use the your knowledge of the in chemistry to uh, find the answer, okay. Example two. Uh, Below is an equation for the decays of radium-226. Okay, this is radioactive decay. So, you see, nuclear energy released during radioactive decay and also uh, nuclear reactions. Radium, okay, we have radium-226 and uh, the mass is 226.02536 AMU. And we have radon-222, the mass is 222.01753 AMU. And the mass of helium is 4.00260 AMU. Find the mass defect. Uh, so the mass defect is the mass before the decay minus the mass after the decay. Energy has no mass. Eh? Okay. So first, the mass defect is equal to the mass is equal to the mass of uh, the radium 226. 0 0.02536 AMU minus the mass of uh, radon 222.01753 and minus the mass of a uh, helium 4.00260 0 0.00523 0 AMU so this is a mass defect. Uh, this is question one. Okay. Question two, they want you to give your answer in a kg. Uh, usually, questions like this, they, they will give you uh, 1 AMU equals to how many kg? Okay, 1 AMU equals to 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kg. So then the mass is equals to 0.00523 three multiply by uh, 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kg 8.68 8 
1 8 times 10 to the power of negative 30 kg okay so this is a mass defect in kg okay b calculate the amount of energy released in joule and ev electron volt okay i'll discuss with you what is the electron volt later okay let's find the energy in joule first okay in joule first um just now we learned that the mass defect eh? the mass defect is uh 8.6818 okay 8.6818 times 10 to the power of negative 30 yeah so the mass is uh 8.6818 times 10 to the power of negative 30 kg speed of light okay this usually is also given again uh, but in this case it looks like it's not given again okay? but suppose that it's given uh, okay speed of light is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second so to find the energy release we use Einstein's formula E equal to mc square okay and the m is the mass defect 8.6818 times 10 to the power of negative 30 okay and the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 and then square um, I get 1.6814 times 10 to the power of negative 12 Joe I think so this should be it's not 18 it's 8 huh? answer okay so the answer is uh, 7.81362 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 13 joule now sometimes they may want you to present your answer in electron volt this EV is called electron volt eh? electron volt now this is another unit of energy and we use electron volt is because you see uh, this this energy is so small okay so uh so sometimes they use electron volts to present the answer now electron volt is uh, it's like this okay if you have two plate charged with positive and negative and the potential difference between these two plate is one volt it's one volt and uh, if you put one electrons okay, if you put one electrons inside this uh, electrical energy okay, electrical energy uh, energy is calculated by Q equals to EV yeah? okay uh, sorry Q equals to sorry 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 E equals to QV okay electrical energy yeah? electrical energy E equals to QV and in this case the charge of the electron is E so E is a charge of one electron so the charge become E and the voltage is one volt okay and therefore uh, the energy is called a uh, one electron volt so one electron volt is the energy between uh, two plates of one volt uh, when there's one electrons placed inside the electrical energy okay there's EV that, that's the meanings of EV, okay? But so usually they will give you 1 EV equals to what? Eh? From here we, we can see that 1 EV, 1 electron volt equal to 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 19 Joule. So uh, after we get Joule, we can use this. We can use this to convert, okay? To convert to the uh, electron volt. Eh? So uh, the energy, the energy is equals to 7.81362 times 10 to the power of negative 13 okay to convert it to ev we divided by 1 ev yeah? 1 ev is 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 19. now this 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 19 actually is the charge of one electron eh? it's also the charge of one electron so the answer is uh, 4.707 times 10 to the power of 6 EV. You see, that is the basics uh, of calculations, eh? okay? Calculations related to AMU and KG, calculations related to Joule and electron volt, eh? okay?
So we must be familiar with all these uh, units of energy and the uh, units of mass. 